Welcome to the Hero Room Origins. So today, we will be showcasing Prince Danaz, the Noble Knight. I'm not exactly sure that's how you say his name, but we're just going to roll with it. So, as you can see, level 10, and that's how it always is. 400 health. Compared to, say, Regson and Zin, that's very low. 400 is not good at all, but high armor kind of makes up for that. 23 to 34 attack, compared to everyone else, that is an average lower tier attack. It's enough to get him by, but it's just not very good. And an average respawn rate, which is, well, average. And his four abilities, first of them is Saberit. Prince Danaz eats a power snack, killing himself for 240 health. That is more than half his health, so that is a well worth it, pretty basic sustain ability. There's nothing really special or new there. Celebrity, Prince Danaz's stunning appearance always up to 9 enemies for up to 5 seconds. That is actually really good. I mean, if you think about it, at first not... Um, stunning 9 enemies for 5 seconds is not really that great sounding, but imagine holding 9 people back, and if they're especially if they're 9 strong people, holding them for 5 seconds can actually mean a lot. Mighty, a devastating attack that deals 171 to 320 true damage. Pretty self-explanatory, he hits them with a, an iron ball, basically. It's his main damage tool. And Avenger throws his shield, striking up to 3 times for 30 to 52 damage per hit. That's a pretty good ability. It's his pretty basic crowd control, well, his pretty basic area damage, controlling crowds, you know, killing a lot of people. And his activated ability, Sworn Defenders, calls 5 members of the Kingsguard to aid him in battling the Hordes of Evil. Calling 5 people. Now, let's think about this. You can call down 5 people to hold a line, on top of being able to stun 9 people, that is pretty good. So as you can tell, this guy is pretty average, a heal, a crowd control, damage, crowd damage, and a block. So, this guy is actually really good in holding a, uh, a line, so you can just drop him in one lane and he'll be able to hold it for you. And I will be demonstrating that in the Griffin Point, I do believe it was called. Alright. So, we are going to hold him right here. Yes, yes he is. So, three mages and one barracks, pretty basic. So, as you can see, two waves coming from here and here. Now watch as he holds this all off. First, call reinforcements. Next, call sworn defenders. You basically have your own personal little army here to defend for you, and you can just hold off huge waves of enemies because you have basically 10 people there. So uh, you will be able to start seeing his abilities. There was shield throw. Um, I'll move him up a bit so you can see the abilities a little more clearly. So as you can see, his soldiers do time out. They're celebrity, so see, you can hold off a huge wave of enemies with that. There was, there's shield throw, bouncing among a whole bunch of guys. So, the thing with him is, he deals enough damage. He deals enough damage that he isn't completely obsolete. But at the same time, he isn't dealing the most damage. And, as you can see, Celebrity is able to just hold back a lot of people. So, honestly, my opinion of him is he's not the greatest. But, I kind of like him because of how well he's able to hold a line. 
because you can just Reinforce. notice how you call him over here where there are a lot of people he is able to actually duel very well as well because of his ability to just sustain himself and his mighty which as you can see he completely crushed that guy and in one-on-one -on -one combat he's not the fastest at killing people but he will survive thanks to his eating ability and boom one-man army so in my opinion Dinaz is okay he's not the best I wouldn't exactly recommend getting him if you're looking for big damage, but if you're having a hard time blocking people, he's definitely a good choice. So, average health, average sustain, average um, damage, but very good at blocking. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say about Denaz. He's okay. And, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.